Welcome to the channel friends. So today's video is going to be a quick benchtop review of these water inlets for the LS9 OEM lid. And uh, the reason why I upgraded to the newest Synergy V2 models, this is going to be your first generation V1. And as you can see here, these are absolutely gorgeous. The highest flowing sets of water inlets available for the LS9 ZR1 and um, they're made by Synergy Motorsports as you can see there with the beautiful engraved logo. I went ahead and installed these stainless steel bleeder screws with sealing washers just because I wanted the option of being able to bleed all the air out of the system on my particular system from the top of the bricks in the water inlets and get all that air out and evacuated but these are not necessary but they do uh, add functionality to the intercooler system it allows you to bleed air out of the highest point so normally you don't need this especially if you have a trunk tank you don't need the bleeder screws on your inlets your trunk tank itself will become the bleed point but moving along I want to discuss some of the basic features of this they use the OEM gasket, very important. It's the OEM bolt pattern and shape. So these will work with LS9 lids. And pretty much they are beautiful. Made out of billet aluminum. You have a milled logo as well as dash 12 male fitting on there for your your um you know your interface to the rest of the intercooler system uh, now to take advantage of these inlets you need to have the synergy water couplers which go in here they have the two o-rings and it's that short little piece that couples to the brick now the synergy water adapters which go in here they have an inside diameter of seven hundred thousandths now these do not the newest version v2 they do. So the inside diameter of this AN fitting here, as you look through it, it is 649 thousandths of an inch. So just about five, eight, just over five eighths of an inch. But the newest versions have a full 700 thousandths. So you have a little bit more of an opening there on the inside diameter, more flow. So that's not the only reason I upgraded to the V2s, which I'll show you in just a moment. The V2s also are available in black anodized, which I wanted. I just don't want to go ahead and, and like spray paint these black because eventually they're going to like peel off or whatever, or even go ahead and have them powder coated, which will cost additional money. I just decided to go ahead and sell these off and give them to some, some lucky person um, with the added modification and go ahead and buy the black anodized because I like the look of that. Uh, no real big difference. I mean, you're not going to see a huge difference difference in flow when you're going from 649 to a 700 ID but it could matter if you have a high flow system uh, that, that wasn't primarily the reason why I wanted to upgrade but if you want to have the highest flow with the newest uh, model of inlets make sure you have those synergy water couplers because those have a true 700 ID to match up with the v2 so there you have the bare aluminum finish. As you see it, freaking gorgeous. Rick did a great job designing these and manufacturing them. Take a closer look. Smooth transition to either side, as you can tell. So you look through there, you can look right through and there's no sharp kink points. You have a smooth transition between these larger bores to the smaller bore on this side and they're symmetrical so this is the same thing you can see right there there's a nice radius so when you feed in that o-ring it doesn't catch on the edge very well thought out just a very very well designed component highest flowing inlets you can buy for the LS9 hands down. So let me go ahead and show you now what I have set up on my car now. 
I went ahead and installed set screws instead of the stainless steel uh, machine screws. That way it's just a little more low profile finish and uh, it just looks better in my opinion. It's a little more subtle. These V2s still have a milled Synergy logo. Still use all the same components when it comes to gasket wise. And you have Dash 12 and you have that nice larger 700 ID. Take a peek there. Freaking beautiful. The black anodized is the main reason why I wanted to upgrade and I'm really happy with my choice. I'll let you guys take a look at the car. It's been quite the build. I've put quite a bit of time and effort into this car. Um, check out my other videos. I don't want to go into it right now. There's a lot of cool stuff in this car that's like one off and um, that hasn't been done before. Maybe I'll make some more videos in the future, uh, especially when it comes to the porting. I did my own custom dimple port and uh, also replicated a Synergy race port. So right now it's making 1,041 to the wheels as well as 1,009 torque to the wheels. That's uncorrected. The corrected numbers for SAE are 999 and 972. Definitely, definitely a freaking runner. Okay, I'm going to be doing some more stuff with this car, so hang tight and stay tuned for future videos. But um, that's going to be it. I mean, very happy with the Synergy Inlets. Like I said, I have them made it up with that Synergy water coupler. It's a second part. Um, it does not come with the inlets. You have to buy it separately. Uh, but that's just something you, you know, when you're upgrading the car, you have to do. It's just you want quality components. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.